In this video, we are going to be doing my most ambitious idea and probably a complete waste of time, but we are going to be upgrading every single weapon inside of King Legacy. And yes, I do mean every single weapon, you know, the, except for the Hunter Blade and the Xmas Blade, both of which I cannot get. I can get the Hunter Blade. I just refuse to. It's too much work. But I've even gone ahead and calculated all the materials needed to do this. And it is quite a bit. And this took me a very long time. So if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started because we have a lot of materials to collect. Okay, so this video is going to be, or was going to be insanely difficult for me to do. But before I even got started with working on it, I just found somebody doing the most perfect trade in history. Probably my new best trade ever. And that is going to be a massive gunpowder trade. As you can see, I have 13,000 gunpowder on me right now, which is, well, that's a lot of gunpowder. That's me basically just AFKing overnight for the past while. But for this video, I have to make a bunch of different weapons upgraded. I need a lot of HG tails, Sea King fins, and Phoenix tiers. And I think I just found somebody, if he follows through, that is essentially going to make the hardest part of this video done immediately. So for this trade, I'm giving him, where is that at? 13,000 gunpowder for two phoenix tears three hydra tails and then seven sea king fins which is 26 sea king fins worth of value so thank you to this guy for being incredibly rich at the right time because you just gave me a bunch of super high class materials look at that perfect that might be the biggest bulk trade i've ever done now all my gunpowder is gone i need to get more of it now <laughs> Good thing I have a lot of time to AFK, because whenever I'm not playing any games, I just AFK gunpowder in this one. But yes, this video is starting off incredibly fast. This is going to be fun. All right, and this is seven days later. I've been basically delaying this video because of other videos I'm recording. But another pretty big trade, a Phoenix tier and a Seeking Fin for 2,400 gunpowder, which is market. Another one of these. Awesome. You can tell it's been a week later because I had back up to like 13,000 gunpowder before that trade. All right, let's actually get started with this project. So I have a huge list of materials I need to get. Here is everything that I need. And here's all the stuff I've already done. Now, yeah, we do have a lot of the stuff on my list already done. But the thing is, most of that stuff is incredibly easy or you just need a few of them. Like the vamp fluid, for example. I only have two of them, but I still have enough because I only need one anyway. And of course, we did the trade for the Phoenix tier tail and seeking fins which was going to be the hardest part of this video but i managed to find a trade perfect for us so now we have to go ahead and try to get the rest of the materials most of which should be pretty easy just with a little bit of grinding but, but there is two of the items on this list that i'm kind of scared about one being the lost rubies which i need eight of and as you can see right now i have zero and the last time i tried to grind for those it took forever to get just a couple i didn't even need that many really when the one i'm really worried about is i need 10 more dragon scales that is going to be the biggest pain because i've only have 11 i think i've only used like five ever in crafting never traded them away either i have barely any i have to get dragon orbs and all that that's gonna be a massive pain so that's probably gonna be the last thing we're gonna do i think for now let's go ahead and do all the stuff we can do in the first c that mainly being the canine and there's something i do want to test on my crab armor video someone said that apparently the boss on shark island actually drops canines which would be spectacular if he does so i'm gonna go ahead and kill him a couple times which really is it gonna be difficult and let's see if he wants to drop us a shark canine this is supposed to be our long so reasonably we should be able to get one if he drops it i mean i do think it's a safe bet that he doesn't considering this is one of the most valuable materials to trade for due to just how big of a pain they are to grind i don't, I don't think this npc would be available considering the price and rarity of someone trading them i mean honestly i don't think he actually drops it i'm gonna say no there's like no one saying he actually drops in the discord only like one guy yeah, I'm going to say he doesn't drop it because the last message of someone saying that he does is two months ago. Yes, the time to farm this. We need six canines. Okay, there's one shark canine. That was fast. Okay, there's a second one. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is because I've already done a bunch of grinding for these canines in the past, especially for the station armor. I'm going to go ahead and AFK again overnight and hopefully get a bunch of these canines and you'll see why at the end of the video i'm choosing the afk something that i technically only need six to have enough when i 
and I already have two of them. But you'll see at the end of the video why I'm just gonna go ahead and AFK this now. Oh, 47, pretty good. That's a few hours of AFK. I got actually really lucky there. And I should never have to actually farm these again if I don't trade any away. So now that that is done, these are the only materials left that we need to collect. All of which I'm pretty sure are in C2. So let's head over there. It's always also worth checking this every once in a while. Because like I just got myself three more epic fruits. Awesome. I mainly collect these like these ones I already have done for trading because they have somewhat of value. And I also buy these whenever. So I actually didn't have a snow, I just realized. But I've been collecting these for whenever they hopefully add awakenings for them. And I mean, it's not like I'm lacking money. But in C2, most of the drops we need to get is over on the desert island, which I've never actually had, which is probably why these are the materials I'm missing. And the first NPC we need is the desert thief, which we're going to farm for thief rags, which I only have five right now. I need three more right now. So let's go ahead and see how difficult he is to kill. I never actually farmed this guy, but he looked difficult. Yeah, and yeah, this guy has a lot of health, my lord. He is not going to be fun. How do people have so many of these for trade? Let's try Quake, I guess. I'm always seeing people trade hundreds of these. Well, let's experiment. Double wave. Okay, not nearly enough. What about with this attack? Yeah, not nearly enough. Yeah, this guy is tanky. It might unironically be worth just trading people for these. Just due to how annoying it is to grind. Yeah, this is one's going to be fun. Ooh, we got two thief rags from there. At least I can get more than one at once. I can somewhat see how people farm this. I'm just used to AFK stuff for my materials and just trade for the rest of it. Okay, there there we go. Two more thief rags. We're done. That is going to be annoying to do any further grinding. But let's see. Now that we have that, we're missing essence of fire and lost rubies. I only need three essence of fire. I need eight lost rubies. Let's do the essence of fire first, which is from the flame user who should, I'm pretty sure, be more annoying. Ugh, I can't get him. I've killed so many. All right. You know what? Even though this is like way less satisfying for the video, I do have a lot of gunpowder sitting here. I'm going to send out trade offers, trading gunpowder for the than things I'm missing, which isn't too bad, actually, because according to the fin value converter, which is how I normally do my trade values, I can get five of these for 400 gunpowder. I can get 15 of these for 400 gunpowder. And for every two lost rubies, it's 400 gunpowder. I don't have any right now. So I, can, I can probably get that. Yeah, let's, see if we can just, let's see if we can get some trades for that. Because this is actually going to take me forever. And it's not, I'm not going to lie. It's also incredibly boring to do this grind. <laughs> oh! Oh, wait, no way. Well, let's go ahead and do that for an extra 10% damage. That's worth it. Well, here's a good trade. 1,200 gunpowder for 40 dragon scales. Awesome. So that is now off of the list of things I need to collect. Okay, I found another really good trade. It is unfortunately trading away my seeking fins, but it's higher than normal value. Five seeking fins for 15 lost rubies. Normally that would be 10, which is the only reason why I took the trade. So that worked out. There we go. So now we have all of those that we need. A few extra too. So the only things we're missing now is the Essence of Fire, which, well, that's going to be fun. Here's a good little side trend. Printing for a Phoenix tier for 2,000 gunpowder, which I'm pretty sure is market value because Phoenix tier is five Seeking Fins and five Seeking Fins is 2,000 gunpowder, at least based off of current value. Uh, looks like we're also going to do another one for the same guy. Another Phoenix tier for 2,000. Okay, and here's another trade that I don't necessarily need right now, but it's still a good trade. 2,800 gunpowder for 10 lost rubies and 20 and 30 dragon scales. Not too bad. It's nice to get more of both of these. And yet again, two people in a row. It looks like we're doing another 2,000 gunpowder again for the trade for another 10 lost rubies, which is also good. It's nice to get these out of the way. Okay, I just killed for like an hour longer. That darn PC, I can't get fire. I don't know why. It's so low. But doing a bulk trade, 2,000 gunpowder for 25 essence of fire. Awesome. I now have every last material that we need for this video. And luckily, a bunch more that we need for the thing I'm about to explain why I'm over trading for these materials instead of just getting it just enough. But yet again, before we get into that, let's go ahead and finally upgrade all of my weapons. And I haven't verbally confirmed it, but yes, I did upgrade the Nightblade V2 in the middle of this video. But you can watch the video of me upgrading that by clicking the top right icon. Truly, insanely lucky. I'm glad I finally got it. That one is already upgraded. So let's do this. This is the ultimate test now. Did I add up all the materials needed correctly? I also really hope I already have all the swords. I'm like 99% sure I do, but I hope I actually do. Let's see. Clearly have enough for that. We have so many of both of those materials. So there we go. 10% more damage. And if I go ahead and do the mini mace, I have enough and 20% more damage. I guess the highest one so far. 
enough of these and 15% more damage. So there we go. 15 and clearly enough. 20% for the katana and we have enough. That's all the common sword is now moving on to the uncommon starting with the triple katana and we oh we definitely have enough for that 15% 20% again and we have enough uh okay our first lost ruby one we just got these but there we go that's also all of the thief rags all gone for this one weapon then we have the pole have just enough for that 15% this one 25% okay gold spear is now the highest damage increase you can get and we have enough we have enough for these also 25% and that's also the last uncommon now we're moving on to the rares starting off with the adventure knife which I need more thief's rags oh I didn't have enough I had a feeling I was off with some of them but okay we'll come back and upgrade that one in a moment but let's do the sunken blade which I have enough for 15% the Kyoru have enough for those 15% then we have the mom blade which I have enough this is also our one vampire vital fluid so there we go 20% ponder blade we have enough 20% demon trident 20% we have more than enough the blossom we have enough for this one not too bad 10% ancient sword we have more than enough and here is our first hydra tail 15% such a waste because it's not even good but now we have the saber also 15% incredibly cheap and I've already upgraded these but just checking the percentage 15% on this one and 10% on this one now it's time for another new weapon dragon standard 15% have more than enough for that aquatic anchor okay here we go one hydra tail and two seeking fins why are these so expensive well either way there we go such a waste then 15% for the metal trident there we go and just checking okay authentic mace is 10% okay, okay we've also moved on to epics I don't know if I said that that, that was a while back but soul cane 10% more than enough also fitting bones and souls and here we go the phoenix blade finally upgrading this one I want to do it in the video but I couldn't find a trade for the phoenix tier but there we go 10% on that actually worth it a break cleaver our last hider tail hopefully there's no more because they're not easy to trade for but there we go might be a waste I've never used it uh Apollos, we have more than enough, 10%. Hell Sword, pretty expensive, but now we have it, 15%. Cookie Sword, pretty cheap, 10%. The One Piece Sword, 10% pretty cheap we can afford it and now we're moving on to legendaries i have three legendaries to upgrade we're gonna check up mall though so this one takes dragon scales and lost rubies 20 percent for the avalon not bad and just to double check night blade is 10 percent okay long of this the least valuable legendary sword and also the one everyone seems to hate for some reason but there we go we can afford that 10 percent upgrade now we have the acro scythe which we can barely afford three seeking fins seeking blood and an ironing gets 10 percent there we go and let's double check all these real quick too 10 percent 10 percent 10 percent and for the very last sword the sweet lozenge 25 ironing it's 50 feathers and one sea wrath and one sea wraith so there we go 15 percent upgraded every single sword of the plus one except for the adventurer knife which means we have to go get ourselves seven more thief rags okay well let's go do that real quick so we can finish the video dang it i'm so that was the only one i miscalculated that actually makes me so sad i was so i was so close to being right for everything let's go beat up this darn boss until it drops us enough rags okay our first two that didn't take long to get five more to go heck yeah another three two more a cool little side trade i mentioned this earlier in the video of why i buy these even though i don't need them i just got myself a hydra tail for it which is three seeking fin spectacular okay just one rag and one more again okay cool we're done let's go upgrade it and with this upgrade we have officially upgraded every single weapon in the game i hope I really hope there's one I'm forgetting that I just don't have. Oh yeah, there is. Sorry. Yeah, there's also two weapons I can't get. There's the Hunter Blade, which I refuse. You need 10 million bounties. So as of time of recording, there's only 29 in existence, at least. Some of these guys I'm gonna have it, but lost bounty. And also the Xmas Blade, which is not tradable and before I started playing the game. So that, that one doesn't count. But yes, now for the explanation why I've been over trading for the amount of resources like over AFKing and stuff like that. And that is because you can't just upgrade weapons. You can also upgrade accessories and they happen to be a tiny bit more expensive than swords. Here's how many resources I needed to upgrade the swords. Roughly, we know the frags were wrong. Here is roughly how many materials I need to upgrade accessories. Yeah, you can see why now. <laughs> the main part being the Seeking Fins, Hider Tails, and Phoenix Tears. Those alone, if I just trade gunpowder for those, I think it's like almost 80,000 gunpowder. <laughs> I need AFK just for that. So this video 
or that video is going to take a very very long time that's gonna be way down the line and probably after the next update whatever they decide to do that no but yeah that's gonna take me forever luckily i have nothing else to afk like ever so i can do it all the time i'll slowly be working on this video for the next like two months probably we'll see